What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. I want y'all to listen to what I'm saying and listen closely. Men, and I'm speaking on this because I see a lot of men go through this. A lot of people that I know personally. Sometimes I see it from afar. Sometimes I see women talking about this on social media, talking about this is what they want, this is what they need in order to be happy, so on and so forth. Men, please be weary of a woman that gets bored easily. Please be weary of that woman, right? Y'all know what type of women I'm talking about. Women that need an, need some type of ex excitement all day long. That's always just thrill seeking. She need a thrill. She's looking to be thrilled by her dude, her, her man. She's looking for entertainment from him in some type of way, looking for some type of excitement in some type of way. She always needs to be excited. She needs some type of excitement in her life, always hollering out how she needs excitement, 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 and how she don't want no routine life. She hate routine. She hate routine this. She don't want to live routine. She's always hollering that out. I promise y'all, please be weary of that woman. We as men are not meant to entertain women. What do I mean by that? Listen to me closely. I don't want the women to lose me on this or get upset. Men are meant to protect, provide, and yes, to love and still court your woman, even when you, are, you are, are married or been dating for a long time, right? So date nights are great. You're supposed to take your woman a nice out and show her a good time. Y'all go on nice activities together. You're supposed to do that. And she's supposed to want to do that for you too. She's supposed to do that for you too, for sure, right? So I'm not saying you shouldn't want to take her nice places and show her a good time and have fun with her. And I'm not saying y'all supposed to be in the house because y'all not supposed to be stuck in the house all day, every day. Right. What I'm talking about is a woman. You didn't took her everywhere. Downtown Chicago has to offer. You didn't took her up north in the suburban areas. So all these fun activities. You didn't took her to Miami, Vegas, New York. You didn't took her to, uh, to your grandma and them down south in Georgia somewhere. You didn't took her out the country one time or, uh, or twice before, and she still. I, I need some excitement. I need some fun to do. I need some excitement. This ain't enough. This is getting routine. This is getting routine. I need to do something else. I need to. Uh, we need to do this. We need to do that. This. We need to. This is getting a little boring. We need to do this. This is getting boring. I'm getting bored. This is getting boring. I don't. I know we didn't went here, but still, this is getting a little boring. We need to do something else. We need to spice this up and all, all of that. Brother, I'm telling you, you're, gonna, you're just running through a brick wall being with a woman like that. She's never going to be happy. She's never going to be happy, man. Like, listen, again, if she, we are not meant to be entertainment for a woman. We are not court jesters and we're not uh, lions at the circus. We are not supposed to be her, her, her sole source of entertainment, right? She just get, trying to get thrills off of you in any way possible. She trying to get you on a, you on a wild goose chase. To see what else you can do to thrill your woman. I promise you, it's not going to work. It's only so much you can do to keep her entertained, brother. After a while, nothing will satisfy her. She will eventually leave you for somebody else that can give her a new high of thrills that she's been seeking. You know what I mean? If she want to be entertained so bad all day, every day, tell her to go and buy her a year pass to Six Flags and get on all the roller coasters every day of the week. If that's what she want to do. Seriously, man, like, come on, at, at this point, it, that it, that would get ridiculous. I know women that I don't need no routine. Like, I don't need no routine. Is it routine? Listen, when I have children, right? Me personally, a lot of men I know have children. When you have children, some things are going to have to be routine. You're going to have to keep your children on a routine in order to get them to develop certain habits that they need to have to be responsible young people in this world. You're going to have to do that, right? Now, everything don't have to be routine. But it's some women that just want to change up every single hour, change up, change up, change up. And certain men will comply and try to change up and change this and change that. And guess what? The, the moment you change, she's going to decide she wants something else because she can't make her mind up. She get bored easily. The moment you want to be something that she, that excitement she's looking for, you change to that, she's going to make her mind. She's going to change her mind and say, oh, well, I don't want that no more. I want this. Like, you know, and a lot of women are like this. Because a lot of men acquiesce to that, right? They comply to their to being their woman's sole source of entertainment, right? And being her sole source of happiness. Because these men, they they nervous. Oh my gosh, she's gonna find somebody else. If I don't make it more excitement for her, she's gonna be with somebody else. She's gonna find her a new dude. She's gonna find her somebody else. Listen, man. I understand some men when men are in love, a lot of men, it's, it's a lot of men that love hard. Especially if they if it's their first love or they just a loving type of person, 
they fall hard, they fall easy. And it's, listen, there's nothing wrong with being in love. It's not, right? Um, But here's the thing, man. You got to be very, very careful of that. Very, very careful of that. Because you want to, you don't want nobody else to have us so much. You just complying with all these thrill seeking, all this and all of that. You're killing yourself. Making your pockets run low because you just, I don't want her to get bored. I hope and pray she don't get bored. I hope she never gets bored of me. I hope she never, I hope she's always thrilled. I hope she's excited. I hope her excitement level is up. I hope I'm spicing it up or a lot. I'm hoping I'm spicing it up for her enough to where she still likes me, to where she's not questioning if we're supposed to be together. Listen, man, it's no shame in this. If your woman is so busy thrill seeking that she wants somebody else because you're not exciting enough for her, that's not a reflection of you as a man. That's, re that's a reflection of her as a woman, okay? I repeat, if your woman is so busy, thrill-seeking, and she wants somebody else because you're not exciting enough for her, that's not a reflection of you as a man. That's a reflection of her as a woman. She can't sit her ass down somewhere, right? And when I say this, I'm not being misogynistic. I'm not talking crazy. I promise y'all. Y'all know I'm not no mean-spirited person, nor any person that knows me know I'm not a vile person, nor do I talk ill of women, right? I just recognize BS from far away. You know, I recognize certain situations where you're not, where I'm not going to win. I've grown to have, I don't have perfect discernment. I'm not. I still make mistakes in certain eras and certain times when you choose to be friending people, so on and so forth and all of that. And in certain friendships that you have or certain even sometimes business relationships sometimes, right? But for the most part, in my 30 years of life, experience has allowed me to have discernment. You know what I mean? And I can tell, nah, this, this, this is going to be some BS. This some bullshit. I don't need to be around it, so on and so forth. So, I, But I, I see a lot of women always talking about, you know, I, I need to be entertained. I don't want no routine life. I don't want this to be routine. I don't want that to be routine. routine. Listen, again, if she want entertainment like that, tell her to go find a rapper. And he ain't going to entertain her ass like that. He's going to be like, listen, I got money to make. I got shows to do. You go be by yourself, goddammit. Okay? Sit down somewhere. Cause all of that is all that is is I, I don't know. She is it's, it's she not sure of who she is. She wanna do shit to please other people, to look cool to other folks on Instagram. She wanna look like she always busy and all that, so she can look so important and so high profile to everybody else throughout the world. Trying to satisfy other people rather than living for self. And I have no, I would never have patience or time for somebody who's trying to please everybody in the social media world. Everybody trying to look like a certain way for social media to praise and worship and to fall at your feet or to make it seem like you, you so goddamn cool. You so damn uh, important. You so this and you so that. I'm telling you, man, it's a recipe for disaster. It's a, it's a recipe for disaster. You know what I mean? So it's, it, we are not supposed to be a woman's entertainment. It's like, Oh, what we supposed to do? Jump, jump up and do jumping jacks or juggle or some shit now? You know, I need excitement. I need thrills. You up in here running around trying to find all type of thrills for her, all type of fun and all type of this and all of that. Listen, man, your duties are to protect, provide, love, and y'all still date each other, man, and have a good time with each other. But all that, just trying to find a thrill, you trying to find, uh, satisfy her hive being entertained and all of that, it's going to be, a, it's going it's to lead you to a dead end. A dead end, man. And it's only so much you can do to keep her entertained and thrilled. Eventually, it ain't going to never be enough. Nothing you do. She's going to find somebody else that do some other stuff that she, that you know, somebody that want to go out and hit the club every night, get drunk every night, want to go to Dubai and, 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 and goddamn, I don't know, some other country that I can't pronounce <laughs> somewhere else. Uh, three, four, five times a year, she, you know, because she don't know how to sit down. And a person that don't know how to sit down will lose their money fast sometimes. You know what I mean? Or their business is not there is not going to be intact the way it should be because they always focus on trying to do this and do that. They want to be all this. I got to do this and do that. Not even trying to get no money or, or focus on self-improvement. Just want to be focused on trying to be exciting or live an exciting lifestyle to show to other people to impress other folks. Like, come on, man, knock it off. So, men, I warn you again, be weary of a woman that gets bored easily. She always need a thrill. A thrill-seeking woman will have you doing some crazy shit. She'll have your pockets run out. run out. She'll put your life in danger, right? She'll put your health at risk at times. 
thrill seeking. We always want some excitement, all this, all of that. Just do stuff just to be doing it. You know what I mean? She'll have you stressed out beyond measure. Have you changing up your whole lifestyle just to accommodate everything that she like and all these thrills and all this and all of that. And in the moment she gets too bored with you all in all, she leave you and you didn't change up everything in your life for somebody that just was just trying to get a whole, just a, a, a thrill seeking experience off of you rather than loving you for who you are and what you stand for, what you represent, your principles and values. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, just a word to the wise. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.